Hi, my name is Stevie and I like to write songs. This is episode four of how to create a prog song. If you want to see the series from the start, the link will be in the description. So today we're going to finish off the song. Let's go. I'm very lucky to be from the north coast of Ireland. It's a very picturesque, beautiful place. We live about a 15 minute drive from some very beautiful beaches. And when I was a kid growing up, if it was a sunny day, we would scran a lift off someone and my brothers and my friends would go to the beach. One of my favorite games to play as a 10 year old child at the beach is a game called Dead Man's Fall. I don't know if this game exists in other countries or if it has a different name, but I'll try and explain it. What we would do is find the tallest sand dune preferably one with a big sandy cliff on the side of it. Someone would be selected to be up. Everyone else would climb to the top of the sand dune and then take turns to shout the manner of their death. So for example, the first person would shout something like machine gun. So the person who's up would mime a machine gun and then the player would somersault down the cliff. Then maybe the next person would say hand grenade and they would mime being blown the butts and falling down the cliff. So the person who's up then would select who had the most epic death, who did the most daredevil stunt, sometimes who did the funniest one, like for example we'd do something like beat me with chocolate until I shit myself to death. So if it was funny, if it was epic or if it was daredevil, they would win and then they'd be up and then we'd start over again. Looking back, I don't know why as a kid I found it such an amusing game, but maybe it's because of how much creativity and laughter was involved in the game. So during the process of writing this song, that game came into my head and I thought about the idea of acting, acting out your own death and the name of a childhood game. So that for me now has become the title of the song, at least the working title of the song. But I really like it, so it's, it's likely to remain as the title of the song. So at the last session, we finished up with the guitar solo. Let's hear where we're at right now. It occurred to me I made a bit of a mistake the last day. I said that that flat 2 chord made a nice cadence into the home key of C minor, but I forgot the chorus is actually in G minor. We can't go to the chorus at this stage, we need to go somewhere else. But from an arrangement point of view, I also think it would be nice to have some kind of a middle 8 before we go to the final chorus of the song. What's in my head is one of those unison type riffs that Patricia and my young do in Dream Theater. They play quite a complex riff with lots of detail on it, and both guitar and bass play it simultaneously together. I'll try and write something like that and see how we get on. Right, let's see what we've got. In the little fast guitar parts, I had planned for the bass to play them as well, but I thought it sounded better that the bass just played a single quarter note and let the guitar do it. It sort of gave the riff more foundation. Let's hear that wee bit again. I like that where the bass descends while the guitar is playing fast. I also like the china cymbal and the drums. Cool. So that's our bit of C minor in the song, and now we have to try and get back to our target G minor for the final chorus. And my idea here at this point is to really explore the flat 5 interval that's in the Neapolitan 6th cadence, and that should bring us beautifully back into G minor.
Right, let's see how that flows from the previous run. I'd like to see, does the chorus come in nicely after that? We find a chorus for us. There we are there. Okay, let's hear that. Really cool. I like it. I think maybe the lead guitar could do an ascending line. Da, 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 da. And just keep going up and up and up until we get to the chorus. Right, let's see if we can add some strings to this to fatten it up. We'd like to put a line. Try it. Copy that onto the other strings and make sure it sounds good. Right, let's see what we have now. Okay, so it's a bit of an anticlimax when the chorus comes in, but that's okay because I have an idea. At the very start of the song, we do an intro over that chord sequence here. I think I copy those guitars up to it and see what that sounds like. Okay. They're a bit lost in the mix. I think maybe if they were up an octave, it would be better. Right, let's hear what we have so far. I would like to hear it from the start of the guitar solo to hear the whole thing in context.
think that piece, I think that part definitely needs singing. I'm going to have to write more lyrics. Okay, so that middle eight part, I'm definitely going to have to write some lyrics for it. It feels like there should be singing at that section. Right, so I had to write quite a lot of lyrics. It took me quite a while to work out phrasing to fit over that rough because there are some bars that aren't 4-4. Four, four. One of the main things that I was thinking when I was writing the lyrics was a lot of rhyming so that the lyrics really flow really well. Trying to maybe think about some of the turmoil that's going on in the narrator's head. Remember that this guy is not a particularly good liar, so lying for him is causing him a lot of internal turmoil and paranoia. So I just wanted to sort of explore some of the things that maybe he's feeling inside as he's trying to keep up with this lie. Reeling, crawling on the ceiling, the truth that you're concealing. Feeling like I'm sick but never healing. Feeding a life of double dealing, the altar where you're kneeling, bleeding from the senseless beating, falling, the burden you are hauling, the dirt in which you're crawling, deafened by obnoxious galling, calling, hiding, hostility, abiding, reality, colliding, clinging to a world dividing. So very, very strong rhymes the whole way through. Lots and lots of internal rhymes within lines in order to just have the lyrics just flow straight through. Let me show you what I'm thinking about now as far as the vocal melody. Right, what have we got here? So we've got a lead vocal. Feeling, crawling on the ceiling, the truth that you can see, and feeling like I'm sick, but... And then the panned left and right doubles. We've got another vocal. Feeling, crawling on the ceiling, the truth that you can see, and feeling like I'm sick, but... And that's doubled left and right, and then we have a third vocal. Feeling, crawling on the ceiling, the truth that you can see, and feeling like I'm sick, but... We've got four of those. Let's hear it. Okay, that's cool. We're at the home stretch, I think. What I'd like to do is arrange this into a double chorus. Okay, so I have made a, a repeat of the chorus.
And why don't we do a big Neapolitan six chord at the end just to tie it all up? Right, so what occurred to me when I was listening to the this end bit here I could go back to the verses and take that U2 style guitar Oh Let's hear what that sounds like Cool. I think we could probably listen to the whole song now for the final reveal. What do you think? Well, let's get a listen. Change the harmony slightly there in the chorus because I needed to do something about getting the intro riff to work at the end chorus. So I simplified the harmony in all the choruses so that when that comes in, it'll work.
another song finished class so it's a very satisfying experience to finish a song like that i'd probably enjoy listening to it and tweaking little bits and pieces for the next couple of weeks i'd put this on the list of things that we need to mix and master later on in the year but all in all that was a very creatively fulfilling experience and hopefully you're getting the bug for songwriting and hopefully this is inspiring you to have a go at writing some songs yourself It's definitely the thing I love most in life. When you're halfway through a song and you start getting into the zone, you don't even notice time going by. So hopefully you found that interesting and hopefully you learned something from it. Hopefully it inspired you to get into songwriting yourself. I have very much enjoyed doing the video. If you've got any questions or comments or anything like that, get in touch with me. Do all the things that YouTubers ask you to do. Hit the bell icon, hit the like and subscribe. Share it with anyone you think might be interested in it. And let's get started on a new song next week. You guys rock.